Dole. This is William Yu, acting chairman of the Trans Star Board of Directors. I will need your credentials to authorize this mission. Of course. My authentication sign is Zeta Invictus Emperor Tangerine. Sign checks out. Good morning, Director Yu. Shuttle is hot and holding orbit. Awaiting mission parameters. You must secure every piece of Cobalt Clearance Level technology and research aboard Talos-1. Then eliminate all Transtar personnel. All personnel? No survivors. It's your show. And their funeral. Payment will be deposited into six separate Benelux accounts. After you transmit evidence of success. I leave my operator feeds on. Just keep watching. We strongly advise deploying your technical officer to a station router inside the firewalls first. Ideal site would be psychotronics. Yes, I've seen the schematics, Mr. Yu. Goodbye. You will destroy this transmission after... Dr. Yu, Morgan, I was afraid you wouldn't make it. 
The subject doll has been secured. I believe I've isolated the correct neuromod. It is essential we say as little as possible of what has happened on the station and focus on the situation. Dahl, memory serves, should resort to field training and react accordingly. He was never one to question orders. Ready when you are, Morgan. Remember, if this works, say nothing. When extracted, Dahl's memory should revert back to the Inception Bay, and he should forget his assignment here. If you're worried about the Geneva Protocols, you have my word. I will say nothing about who performed the procedure. I am at risk as well. <laughs> what? Who are you? Morgan, your father's been asking about you. And Alex. I was supposed to report to him about her retrieval after modding up. Where am I? Why am I restrained? Commander. Dor, I am Dr. Igwe, chief physician here. You've... I've seen your face in the company directory. Alex's pet. The discredited parapsychologist. Ah. Commander Dahl, you've suffered a severe head injury as a result of a crisis here on the station. We need to evacuate at once, but we... we couldn't leave without you. Are you able to pilot a shuttle? What? Yes, of course I can pilot... Wait, what emergency? Is this Argus installation? Where's Casper? I'm afraid there's no time to explain. We need to get to the shuttle bay and prepare for departure. Transtar mandate. Doctor, you can confirm. Of course. Morgan, you look like shit. All right, let's get Daddy's precious child off the station, or Transtar will blackbox me. Your memory of the tests is completely gone. Just need to check your vitals. I want you to know your willing participation was a success. There's nothing wrong with me. It's already yielding valuable information for our scientists and engineers. Please. Rest easy for now. One. You feel well. It's by design that I can predict what you're going to do fairly often. And yet, this turn of events with Dahl, I'm impressed and surprised you've managed to find a way to get remaining crew off the station.
Hello. Excuse me.
I promised you my arming cape. All I ask is you hear me out first. And you can blow Talos one to pieces if that's what you think is best. I don't think you'll do it. I know. Because I used to think we couldn't be trusted to play with fire without burning the house down. But you convinced me. You showed me anything was possible, even if the price was steep. That part of you is still in there. We can make history, Morgan. Not those leeches on the train. Board of Directors, not Mom and Dad. But you were not. I. Just like we planned. We got the data to confirm what you suspected. The Carl is broadcasting a neural signal. A secret message reaching to the stars. What I want to know is what is the message and who is listening to it. I think you know, ever since we first tested the Typhon neuromods, you've known. This fabrication plan is for the null wave device prototype you can see. It will hijack the coral signal and use it to deliver a massive shock to every Typhon organism at once. Take it. And the army key, I got pro- What? Morgan! This is obviously familiar. Probably sound more tired than usual. It's been never ending. Setting up the rooms and protocols to test the new mods, the risk is substantial. But if we succeed, copying neural networks from the Typhon onto human minds is going to change everything. So, I'm putting myself in the sim. 
I've done everything I can to make sure I don't wind up lobotomized. One last safety measure. Let me introduce October. Say hello. Hello, Dr. Yu. October will help you remember what you're supposed to do if things go sideways. Once testing starts, there's no going back. If, when, they uninstall the mods and reset the test, it'll rewind me. I'll forget everything. Theoretically, they could keep me reliving the same day over and over, and I'd never know. If you're listening to this, that's probably what happened. It also means I don't know if I can trust my own brother. Alex won't like what I have to say next. I started plans for a prototype null wave strong enough to kill every Typhon on Talus 1. I hid a copy of the plan on top of the data tower by the scary chair. You know the one I'm talking about. Alex agreed to explore the idea, but I know my brother. First sign of trouble, he'd rather blow it all up and blame someone else. So, you're probably on your own. There's a lot at stake here. Too late to stick our heads in the sand. You know what to do. Morgan, you anticipated the kind of appeal Alex would make. Sibling bonds, history. You programmed me to refute him point by point. However, we can skip that. A Typhon the size of a skyscraper is currently eating Talos 1 for lunch. Ergo, Alex is wrong. Destroy the station, just as you planned. The blast will take the monster down with it. Destroy the station? But didn't you hear him? The null wave. Alex is correct. It could work and preserve what we have learned here. We have to try. Igwe, look at the alien outside the station. Of course it's a risk, but we've seen the generator work. To destroy all this, to murder a species, and the research lost. It's... Everywhere is right, Morgan. We can't let these things get back to Earth, even if one of them hit Earthside. Morgan, please. Destroying the station should be the last option, not the first. The heart of the Carl is in psychotronics, in the original containment cylinder. Placing the null wave device there will override the entire Carl network with our own signal. Use your psychoscope to locate the exact spot. This is it. Either you destroy Talos 1, or that... Creature... Or ...destroys us. Is that all of them? They're inside the room! Kill them!
If the idea hasn't occurred to you, I'm sure it will eventually. Don't do it. I can't predict what would happen if you scanned the Apex, but all my models point to suffering. Scan and more specimens required. Alex's plan succeeds. Then what? You're taking a massive gamble that there aren't more predators like the Typhon. In the history of the universe, humans have only recently become self-aware. Yet you're going to kick the door open on a much wider and older cosmic ecology. One that feeds on consciousness. These are shark-infested waters. Alex believes we can be the bigger shark. But what if we're just poor swimmers? And now there's blood in the water.
Microgravity detected. What the hell have you done? I simply acted a Morgan. Your operators locked me out of the con terminal. We need to link up to the null wave device if we're gonna get that signal off before it's too late. Consider the risk. Alex's plan, if it works, is only a short-term solution. None of us has the right to endanger every life on Earth. If anyone's playing God here, it's you. Your lunatic plan denies everyone a birthright to the stars. You know how neuromods are made. The demand will only increase. In the future, Alex envisions, many will die for the benefit of a privileged few. I'm not arguing with a glorified desktop. Kill it, Morgan. Sorry, Morgan. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. You'll have to destroy me. Which means you'll be destroying yourself. Fine. I'll do it myself. I'm sorry, Morgan. I didn't want to harm your brother. The directives you gave me require I do everything in my power to ensure you destroy Talos One and all the Tyson. Detonating the station safeguards the Earth and perhaps provides a small measure of reparation. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. If you want to activate the Null Wave... a neuromod? Well, it's both an easy answer and a complicated one at the same time. It is the future, today. More importantly, our past, today. This is the work Transtar does, every employee working together. It's immortality, and it is beautiful. It's finished. How did it do? 
Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, and nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later it recovered the Leitner connectomes. They were of no practical use, except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It's remarkable that it never installed a single Typhon-based neuromod. In my view, this demonstrates a strong identification with us, but its most surprising act was sparing Da. While perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, enabled others to escape Talos One. Michaela. I died. Perhaps it could have prevented it. I don't know. Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to, but it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37, but it left him alive. It could mean a low drive for retribution. There were a lot of humans controlled by the Typhon that it could have harmed. Seems like it went out of its way to avoid that. I think it's worth the risk. In the end, he chose to activate the null wave device. Why? To preserve the Typhon technology? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the world today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. Take my hand if you do. We're gonna shake things up, like old times.